We've long time had a housing crisis in our community, and some people's uh, inability to act have made it even worse, have exacerbated it. And so we're here to stand up, to fight back, to make our concerns uh, known, and to make sure people are aware of what's going on in our community. Um, housing is a human right, and everybody deserves fair, affordable housing and, and decent housing. Amen. Yeah, man. So I want to immediately turn it over to the residents because I don't want to talk too much because this is not my plight. I'm here in support of many of the residents that are being directly affected. Again, if you're watching this or if you're seeing this video later, reach out to us and figure out how you can get involved so we can make sure that something is done about what's going on here in our community. We're right here in Lexington Heights right now, uh, but there are several properties that are being affected. And you're going to hear from some of the residents in a few moments. Thank you. All right, my name is Joanna Hewlin. I'm a resident of Highland Park, and I have been at Highland Park for five years. And I was told the 1st of August, I literally was told overnight uh, that my rent has over doubled. My rent went from 825 to 1700 for a three bedroom apartment. And I have three girls. I'm a single mother. I do work. I am not on Section 8 or get any government assistance, but we all are in this thing together. And um, I have never met Prosperity Capital Partners, nor have I have had any interaction with anyone that's been willing to work with me. And again, like I said, I am a single mom. I work and I try to do all I can to provide for my three girls. And as you all know, we are coming, we are still in the middle of a pandemic which was hard on a lot of folks, and me and my girls are still adjusting to it, to now have to deal with another tragedy of trying to come up with $1,700. And not only has this been hurtful for me and my girls, Clark County School District had just started school. I got this letter two weeks after school started. And my kids now are nervous, and they are being stressed out, not knowing whether they're going to have to relocate in the middle of a beginning school year. And also, I have children that are going through mental health crisis right now. So again, this has been a burden, an undue burden on me and my family right now of trying to figure out if we're gonna be able to stay in our residence that have been there already five years. And again, like I said, Athens, Clark County already have a homeless uh, crisis. And if me and my three girls don't come up with the $1,700, we will be homeless. I have no family that I can live with in Clark County, nor does Prosperity Capital Partners, that they even talk to me to discuss with me, will I have anywhere to go? It has been hurtful. I haven't been able to sleep, and I have been very stressed out. This has been a burden on my heart to carry every single day. I have been trying to keep my girl strong in the midst of this heart, heartful situation. And I'm asking that Prosperity Capital Partners and Strategic management consider the family that got children in these residents my rent was not behind my rent was on time i have not broken any laws in my residence a company just came out of florida and decided to say hey i'm gonna buy it i'm gonna make money so i'm gonna keep these residents out so like, again no one yeah, has yeah. came to me to be willing to work with me mm -hmm. and again i live in highland park uh, apartments in Athens, Georgia. Thank you. Woo! Oh, yeah. 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 All right, who's next? Hi, I'm a resident of 345 Lesson Heights. I received a, a letter saying that they're not, no longer going to renew my lease because of Section 8. And um, they gave me 30 days, June the 30th, to get out. I replied back to them and told them I'm not going anywhere. So they rewrote me a, a letter and said that they gave me another 30 days, which is going to be today, that I am moving today. It has been so stressful, but the thing is about the situation is, less than high, I've been over here 22 years. I never had this problem before. I always had good landlords willing to work with all the tenants. But this one came in from Florida. He decided that he didn't want to deal with Section 8 
only certain session eights that they're dealing with and only certain people that they're dealing with. And I feel that I've been targeted because I'm the one that like to see the neighborhood run good, things go good and everything. And the ones that live here, that they decide and I don't know, I don't know if I'm right or wrong about this issue, but I'm gonna say it. I don't know what kind of uh, talk they had with them, but I know a lot of stuff have been changed since I received the letter since I became out here to discriminate against what's going on out here. I was called this morning to ask, was I coming to a meeting at 122 Lesherner Height? And I said, I sure was. When I, re when I came here and came in there, my lawyer was here. They told her she couldn't stay here in the meeting. She couldn't stay in the meeting. So if I had hired her, so I couldn't say to me. So both of got put out. Man, but man. the thing about this, this situation is, 22 years, I never had a problem that I can call and say that they are not willing to help me. But these people that came in here and they took over right now, they didn't come give us no kind of sign, no kind of warning, no kind of nothing. nothing. They didn't say anything. They didn't sign us a letter. Through the post, telling them, we, I got to get out. We, we, we was not. We got to get out. They we was just not going to gotta, renew our lease. They're not going to renew our lease. They need to give us an option. That's right. Did we want to rent or not? They say, they, in other words, they say, we don't want y'all niggas over here. Oh, but I'm just saying that I'm just saying that's what they say. Yeah, yeah. I mean that's the way they're putting it. Because in their, in other words, why did they give us an option? Why did they say, do y'all want to pay the rent instead of putting us out? I don't got sick. I am sick. I had surgery. I don't call COVID because going back and forth trying to find somewhere to stay. And they didn't warn us. They could they should have at least came and say, do y'all we finna get ready to sell this place. And it ain't right. No, it's not right. Yes. It's not right. And the thing about it is that I don't Hell know yeah, why man. people are thinking that Session 8 is a bad thing, but some people have bad luck, fall down <laughs> on their luck, and they have to fall on help. Right. But the thing about it is they should have came out and said, look, we got a company that wants to buy the property. Yeah, they should have warned us. they came out here and gave us three or four months ahead of time to let us know that they're not going to be able to renew our lease. Okay, I went through DCA. DCA, I went through a contract with DCA from December to December. And they had broke the lease. They had to break the lease. And my, to, and because my they lease said that I didn't have my a lease with connection. the new company. So we are here trying to get things together. We trying to get things situated for the next person that come up here and live in Lesson Heights that they won't have to go through it. Yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, thank you. All right, who's next? Who's next? I want to speak about that situation as a tenant. Yeah, I'm, I'm a, you, you, you was going there. All right, man. Well, like I was just saying, they, 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 I stayed 267 Lesson Heights. They did not give us a warning, as she just said. I, I have gotten sick, trying to go out, trying to find somewhere to stay. I got called COVID, and I mean it's not right. They didn't warn us, but they want to give us. They want to want. They want to give us a sixty-day notice. But why didn't they come tell us? Why did they come tell us sixty days before they were gonna sell this place? Warn us, letting us know so we could find somewhere to stay. No, it's not right. And then they want to use somebody to. to they want to use somebody else. Uh, 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 to try to help us get to a place that they don't want to stay. It's the treasure city in Athens. Home up. Hell no, I ain't going there. And I mean it. Yeah, yeah. All right. All right. Well, we're the tenants, the residents. We have a demand letter that I'm going to read. Hold on one second. Did anybody else want to share their piece? We good? All right. Okay, this is our de demand letter. All right, tenant demand letter to strategic management partners and prosperity capital partners. Through this letter, residents of Lexington Heights, Holland Park, Rosemary Place, and Hidden Pines want to notify the owners and management that we are asking for a meeting at each apartment complex open to all tenants and community members. We would like a response about the meeting by Friday, 
September the 2nd with possible dates for the meetings. As tenants, we have come together and agreed to issue the following demands. Provide new leases to all tenants with reduced rent and accept Section 8 and other subsidized housing vouchers. Do not raise any rent until all necessary renovations and maintenance for health <laughs> and safety have been addressed. Capping the amount of future rent increase by a maximum of 10% per year. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Remove the surcharge for paying online and allow other forms of payment, payment, I'm sorry, or payment, oh, sorry about that, y'all. There we go. Okay, go back out. There we go. A payment including and check payments. Provide necessary maintenance and access to all amenities, including trash. Provide relocation assistance to anyone who wants to move, such as money for deposit, time to find desired housing, return security deposit. Mm -hmm. We expect a prompt response from you to present more details and establish the terms of our conversation. We are doing this in good faith, seeking a common agreement with you as representatives and owners. This is currently a shortage. Again, there is a currently a shortage of affordable housing in Athens Clark County, especially those that accept Section 8 and other subsidized housing vouchers. Even those residents that have accepted to leave have nowhere to go, especially on such a short timeline. Yes. The actions decided on by the ownership and management will have a significant adverse impact mm -hmm. on the entire community. The entire community mm -hmm. here exactly. in Athens, Georgia will be affected yes. if yes. everybody lose their residence exactly. and we are homeless. Yes. A lot of us do not have nowhere to go. Yes. And we cannot pay the rent increase that is way, way extremely too high. Who has almost $2,000 for a three-bedroom apartment? Come on now. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So if yeah, we can't pay it, we're going to be outdoors. Mm -hmm. Then you're going to get mad and drive by and say, oh, why she standing out there with her kids mm -hmm. holding the homeless sign? Mm -hmm. When exactly. I just had a place exactly. that you put me out of. Exactly. Now you can't right. have it both right. ways. You want me to pay my bills, That's be a right. law-abiding citizen, and pay my rent, but then you want to come in and jack it up mm -hmm. when I can't pay it. And then I'll be homeless. Then you're going to talk about me. Oh, that's so embarrassing. She out there holding her side with her girls. And then the taxpayers, they, compl they complain about trying to take care of the homeless. Okay, which one is it going to be? Right. You can't have it both ways. Exactly. I was paying my rent on time without no problem. Y'all decided to come exactly. in and go up. Exactly. I didn't ask for this. That's right. It's no this problem. was brought to my front door. That's right. Exactly. And That's I right. got three kids. Without I got to think about it. I would, I would not ask anybody to have their children be put outside because of profit. Mm -hmm. I, would, I would want no family to go through this. Yeah, yeah. My <laughs> girls have a right to stay in their school, yep. to continue their education. Why yes. my children got to stop going to school yes. and move out because of this? Yes. People got children in these homes. Exactly. So you affect the whole family dynamic, not just the, the parent. So yeah, that's yeah. our de demand letter that we are asking mm. from the residents. Yes, yes. Yeah. Housing is a human right. 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 What do we want? Justice. Justice. What do we want? Now. Justice. What do we want? Justice. When do we want it? Now. What do we want? Justice. When do we want it? Now. What do we want? Justice. When do we want it? Now. Let's get it. Woo! Yeah. Thank y'all. Thank y'all for coming out. Thank you. You did a great job.